Hello everyone, meet Martin. Every Sunday, Martin goes grocery shop. Let's see what he gets today. Martin decides to get his favorite cereal first. Look who is also at the grocery store, Sophia. She is looking intently at the cereal boxes and seems confused. Oh, here comes Martin. She thinks maybe he can help her. Excuse me, sir. Um, may I ask you something? Sure, how can I help you? I am looking for a healthy cereal option, but I don't know how to decide which cereal is healthier for me. And I am not very familiar with the US labels because I am from Ecuador. Can you please help me? Sure, let me take a look. Sophia and Martin begin to compare two brands of cereal. Martin holds one of them and starts to explain the information on the label to Sophia. Here in the US, there are two important pieces of information you will find in a food package. First, the nutrition facts panel. It lists the amount of certain nutrients that a food contains per serving. The following components must be listed on the nutrition facts panel. Total calories, total fat, saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, total carbohydrate, dietary fiber, total sugar, added sugar, protein, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. The daily value is also given in the panel. This information helps you determine if a serving of food is high or low in a nutrient, and how that food contributes to your overall daily diet for each nutrient. Generally, a 5% daily value or less is considered low, whereas a 20% daily value or more is considered high. For example, if a single serving of the cereal provides only 3% of the daily value for calcium, then it would be a good idea to either select a different cereal or make sure that the other food choices you make that day provide the rest of the daily value of calcium that you need. The other important information on the food package is the claims. As a marketing tool towards health conscious consumers, the FDA, which has legal oversight for most food products, allows companies to assert some of the benefits of their product using claims. The two types of claims you will most likely see on a food package are nutrient content claims and health claims. First, nutrient content claims are statements about the amount of a nutrient found in a food product. Some common examples of nutrient content claims are sugar-free, reduced fat, light in sodium, enriched, and fortified. Second, health claims are statements that describe a relationship between a food substance and a reduced risk of a disease or health-related condition. Examples of health claims are a diet with enough calcium may reduce risk of osteoporosis. A diet with low saturated fat and cholesterol may reduce the risk of heart disease. The US food label has been updated, and it looks quite different from the previous version. Various changes have been made, including increasing the font of serving size, highlighting the total calories, removing calories from fat, integrating added sugars, removing vitamin A and vitamin C, and adding vitamin D and potassium. I hope my explanation was helpful. What do food labels look like in your home country? Yes, your explanation was very helpful. In my country, we have a mixed system. In addition to the nutritional facts panel, we use traffic lights to make claims about nutrients of public health concern. So, all packages have claims regarding fat, sugar and sodium. And depending on their amounts in the food product, the claims are placed in a red, yellow or green box. This system allows a quick identification of healthy food products. However, it's not very common in other countries. That is why I was confused about which cereal to choose. Wow, that is very interesting. I've never seen this type of label before. I can see why you're confused. Sophia thanks Martin for his help. Now, she understands the type of claims made on food packages in the US, the difference between the old and the new labels, and most importantly, Martin taught her how to read the nutritional facts label and use it to make healthy food choices. Both chose their favorite cereals and they left the aisle after saying goodbye to each other. It was a great Sunday. I got everything I needed, and now it is time to go back home. I hope you guys also enjoyed it and learned more about the valuable information contained on the food label. Don't forget that whichever country you are from, all food labels have the same purpose, which is to provide you with the information to make food choices that can have positive effects on your health and wellness.